Hi everybody, Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is the start of my Mother's Day series 2018. I'd done one last year and I'll share all the links um, for those tutorials above. A um, little bit of a twist this morning after we stopped laughing, I've got my mum in the house. <laughs> Say hi mum. Hi everybody. <laughs> so we've had a few um, bloopers. I should have recorded them actually. Well, they are recorded, so I might edit them in later. Mum still can't stop laughing. Um, but I thought as a nice way to introduce Mother's Day week, I would do some crafting with my mum. So um, we are going to make today this really lovely, so it fits in a, the biggest envelope you can do on the envelope um, scoreboard. Um, and I'll just show you here. It is the six by eight and a half. So it's the very last one on your scoreboard. It will give you the perfect envelope size for this. So this is a rocker card. Um, really easy to make. If I just bring it up there, you can see all the detail, I've got little embellishments on there, die cut circles, and then basically it sits up like so and it rocks. So what do you think of that one? I think that's lovely, <laughs> I really do like it. <laughs> so inside yeah. here as well, I'm to talk. <laughs> yeah you are, inside here I've got a little hinge as well just to stop it because it's quite weighted um, to stop it kind of um, falling out and kind of just going flat on the mantle or bedside or anywhere where people will keep it. Um, oh, and it's lovely. you've got to balance it out as well so I'll talk you through that in a minute because obviously you've got a lot of weight on this side so you have to kind of balance it out on each side um, so there you have it so I'm using papers today um, I keep raving about these I absolutely love them so the paper pack is the Nature's Grace um, Dovecraft which mum is like drawing over and I think she's yes. going to pinch it from me lovely um, but you're not allowed to because okay. it's mine <laughs> Because it's Mother's Day, I might let you have some. Oh, that's <laughs> nice of you. <laughs> and the card I'm using is this Do Crafts Paper Mania. So capsule assorted colossal colours. Solid cardstock. It's um, cardstock? Cardstock. It's lovely. Really, really nice. And you just get a whole rainbow of all different tones and stuff there in the back. So that is what we're using. Again, as always, I will share all these links in my blog. And there'll be um, a link for that below. Okay, so Mum is going to be doing all of the um, preparing of the um, flowers. No, we're not having a lunch. This is actually what you're going to need today is a dinner plate. And I'll talk through the sizes. And a side plate? That. Oh, sorry, a side plate. Sorry, I do apologise. I did ask her for a dinner plate and brought it up and it was like 12 inches. I thought that's a bit of a big card. So we've, uh, we've, we've sized it down. But again, so this is what we're doing. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. So um, the best way to, so you need, um, now if you've got a compass, I, as again, I'm crafting with my mum, I'm in my mum's craft room. Some of you that have watched old tutorials of me, I've got these big circle um, plastic kind of rings um, with a cutter um, by X Cuts. And I'll share the links to them, but I wanna check the dimensions of it as well, but you should be able to use those. Otherwise use a compass, um, and what else? If you've even got any big circle dies, that would work as well. So I am using a side plate that is coming in <laughs> at eight and a quarter in diameter. So you want something as close to that really. Um, if you've got your compass, you wanna set your compass at four and one eighth of an inch. Um, so you wanna set it at half of the diameter and then you'll put that into the middle, swirl it around your paper and it will give you an eight and a quarter circle. But I'm always a conscious and aware that, you know, we've always got people starting off their crafting. Some people don't have all the bits and pieces. So I'm going to show you how to do it with a good old dinner plate. So, side plate. Side plate. <laughs> all right. Okay. So don't need the scoreboard. So grab your side plate, just pop it upside down. And with a pencil, we're just going to draw around like so and then you just want to cut that circle out which is what I'm going to do now while I'm doing that I'd like mum I would like you to die cut and punch so basically what I've got is all these punches again this is all my mum's stuff so we've got three punches here of assorted sizes and then I've got these dies here that one and also that one there so you can see here this one Quite a pointy one is with this die here. So I'll just come up a bit in there. Is that one? Then this one at the back is I think it was just two of them. Actually, I didn't use that one in the end, so we'll get rid of that one. We don't need that one. Okay. So it was two of those ones, two of those, and then just little hole punch two of those. That one was just one there. I don't actually think I didn't use that one in the end either, so I can pop that to one side. So if you can for me, Mum, if you can die so cut two of those. Two of those so yeah. I've just got scrap paper here. 
um, from the card that I made before. Um, everything's here for you, Mum. We've got your dye oh, machine. Yeah, yep, it's all okay. here. Um, so yes, yeah, so if you can do two of those on the yellow for me, two of those on the yellow. Okay. Um, and then I'll yeah I'll show you the other ones to do in a minute. So okay. Mum's going to crack on and prep the flowers. So um, again, if you're doing similar, that's what you want to do as well. And then I'm going to cut out this big circle here. So let's remove the dinner plate or the side plate. I keep saying dinner plate. That's it now, it's stuck. Okay, so pop that to one side because that's all my measurements. So you just want to really, as neat as possible, because obviously this is going to affect the rocking um, mechanism, which is why I mentioned if you, you know, um, if you do have a compass, um, uh, if you're very good with a cutting knife, or if you do have those circles that I have, which I will share the links to, then you might find that easier if you are worried that you're not going to get a perfect cut. You have to be quite steady with this piece. Okay, so I've got my circle all cut out. So the next bit you want to do is just fold that in half. So make sure it's all lined up really well. Just like so. Oh, you need to use, I noticed that actually, if you just use that extra bit of this here I gave you. So just, you have to do another one. Just sit it on top and just um, put that shim in it. Okay, so just burnish off there, and now you have the main part, so the rocker. So that's really, really straightforward. Now, if you want, you can um, die cut some circles, you can put them right in the middle, have a nice big sentiment, have some flowers down here, and that could be your rocker. As simple as that, and put the little bit in here, which I'm gonna do. But I just wanna show you other ways to kind of add a bit more fun to it, a little bit more dimension. So, open it back out again. And what you want to do is, using a metal ruler, and I've got my cutting knife here. So first of all, with a pencil, um, you want to cut, um, what did I say it was gonna be? So, I just remember what I can Okay, so you want to come in at two and a half on this score line. So come in, two and a half, and just put a little marker just there at two and a half. Then, you want to do a line. I'm going to use my grid, my mat here, just so I can make sure that I'm getting. So I'm going to start with this line here. So I need to make sure I go to that line there. Just because you're using a circle, you want to make sure that you obviously get it exact. Then, again from this score line, you want to come up. What did I do that measurement at there actually? Because I didn't write that one down. I thought I did. Oh yeah, one inch. That's what it was. Okay, so from that marker that we, the two and a half marker there, you then want to mark up one inch and down one inch. Okay, like so. And then again with your ruler, you just want to do a nice straight line like so. If I just bring that up there, can you see what I've done? So that was the two and a half inch in point there. I do that full pencil mark all the way through and then come up one inch there and come down one inch there. Okay, like so. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, with your metal ruler, we're gonna cut from that top one inch line down to the bottom one inch line. So, I just again do this and I'll bring it up so you can see. Like so. So all I've done is I've just cut from the top of that one inch one down to the bottom. Okay? Then you want to grab your stylus and then you're going to score the other two pencil marks. Because we're going to actually burnish these. So I'm going to do quite a strong score line through there. Now before we burnish it, we can now rub out all of those pencil marks, so most of it will be covered with DSP and stuff, but just in case some of it does come through. Be careful over the piece that you've cut. How are you getting on with the flowers, Mum? Okay. You do need a shim though for one of the... Um... For one of those dies. Yeah, for yeah. one of those dies, because they're not cutting too well. This one's fine. Okay, so that is now what we've got. So I've got two scored lines because I've rubbed out the pencil here and here and then that piece that's cut. So now what you want to do is fold down that back one. This one now will fold down and then that other one will fold up like so. Lie it all down flat and then you can just burnish everything. Like so. 
okay now obviously we've got this piece poking out so all you want to do is very neatly with your scissors is just follow around that curve and just remove that like so okay and now we've got this little step piece that kind of goes down like so and there you have it still so nice rocker now we can grab this little piece here so i've cut a piece let me grab my scoreboard again so this piece here is a piece of three by three quarters of an inch and what you want to do is just score at a quarter of an inch one and a half and two and three quarters along that three inch side again get rid of this and then all you want to do is just fold the two ones down and then the middle one up so you're creating that shape okay so the outer ones have gone out folded and then that one's just folded down Okay, and then oh, oh. <laughs> I'll put that on the floor. You want to okay. Card, you? Okay. So, um, so what have you die cut now? Then so we've got. Done those four, two, or two. Do you want? Yeah. Please? Yeah. Just die cut as many as you want, Mom, and then we can just add them in wherever. Okay. Um, then I'm just gonna on the outsides just put some double-sided um, sticky which I don't use. I do not use these rolls, but my mum does. So I'm going to give hers a go. Like so, so just the outsides there of both of those. And then on the very bottom, just roughly in the middle, don't worry too much. Just going to stick one down and then the other side, like so. So that's what you will have, okay? And then actually then that needs to fold up. I think I've told you to fold it the other way, but basically that needs to fold up inside like so. And all it means is now that that will only ever expand to that width, like so. It'll just stop, no matter what, how much weight now you put on that, it will always stand up. Okay, so that's that piece done. So now we need to do the DSP for the front. So you need to cut a piece of whatever paper it is that you're using. And my piece here measures at, I need to use my scoreboard actually. So I'm going to buy a measurement. So this measures eight by three and three quarters. Okay. And then underneath, along the eight inch side with a pencil, you just want to mark at four inches. So just in the middle there. And then grab your side plate and you're going to well done. You're going to put a marker. Open oh, marker, you're going to score, you're going to do a pencil mark, sorry, you're just going to trace the outside of the plate from the very top what is it top right hand side here like so all the way down so it meets up with that pencil mark at the bottom okay and then again on this side you want to do exactly the same so again I'm just making sure the plate comes up to the edge there and same there okay. all right so that is just bring that up that is what you want okay and then again you just want to cut that out so again with my scissors um, now what I'm going to get also mum to do, if you don't mind mum, um, so I've got the piece here, this is what's going to be the main sentiment. So I've already die cut um, two with the purple background and then the same print. The outer one comes in roughly at three and a quarter inch squared and then the inside one is two and five eighths squared and then the next one down again is this one here and this is two inches squared and that's going to go on top with our sentiment. So I've already got the sentiment here and it just says, first a mother, always a friend. Oh, I'm giving her a hug right now, you can't Aww. see. Okay, so, um, and I'm using, again, mum's got all the stamping up colours. I've got quite a few, but mum's got even more. So um, I did use Rich Razzleberry, but I thought it was a bit too pinky, but the Perfect Plum went really nice. So if you can stamp, this is where mum's starting to sweat now. I am sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't free stamp. <laughs> she loves her stamp positioner. I love my stamp positioner. <laughs> okay, oh. so if you can ink that one up for me and as neat and as centered <laughs> as possible, I want you to stamp in the middle. <laughs> oh, shake, shake, shake. Okay, so while mum's doing that, which you can see her doing, I'm gonna cut this piece out. Oh, gosh. So alright mum, we've got faith. Just hold it, make sure it's all really inked up nicely, and then just hold it down. I always hold it in place for like... Remember the sentiment, okay? Ten seconds. We're always a friend. <laughs> There's always more paper we can die cut, oh, Mum, don't worry. Don't buy. Okay. That's it now, you've committed. I have committed. 
Uh, no, see? What's wrong? That's okay. The, the F is a bit... No, no, no. Missing. It's gone a bit heavy on the... Maybe you've put a bit too much weight on the left. And the, there's... You well, can't if see you the want F. to grab the... What about doing um, the other side? I don't think you can. I think I'd already put stuff. Oh, no, you can. Okay. Yeah. Just be a bit lighter. Don't be so heavy handed. Okay. Can I use my steps <laughs> if you want? Of course you can. That's all right. I'll try this again. It's just it's just a little stamp. Just yeah. Don't, yeah. don't okay. be. Don't push down so heavy. All right. Well, enough, but obviously. <laughs> First and mother always a friend. That's, That's okay. I'm, so, I'm happy with that because yeah. it'll be for me. So I'm. No, I'm no, no, no. This is not for you. <laughs> Right, do you want to move that to one side so we don't get it on anything okay, else? Okay, move that just away. get rid of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you stick that for me on there? Um, we'll put the tape, there's tape there. And if you can pop a little sequin like I have there as well. So I've just put a little sequin in the bottom there. Yeah. And I'm going to make the bow because my mum always moans at me whenever I do tutorials afterwards and we talk about them and stuff. Then she always says, I'm going to teach you how to do bows properly. And I think I've got it, so I'm going to show you how I do it now. Um, okay, so my measurement then, so you need to, on the paper, now I can't show you it on the reverse, because if I do it on the re reverse side, what I'm going to do next, it then will be on this left hand side, and it needs to be on the right, so I have to do it over the top of this pattern paper, so it won't be easy for you to see, um, but you will get what I'm doing. So now we need to make, this is going to fit nicely over the top, so you can see already I've got a lovely border. But I need to make this piece here, so I need to cut this piece away. So what you want to do is you need to come down, what was it, so I came down one and one eighth of an inch and came in two and five eighths of an inch. So I can come along the bottom here actually, so come along the top here at two and five eighths of an inch, like so. So that's just, from that side in is two and five eighths of an inch. I'm then just going to line that up on the front and just do that pencil mark on here as well so I can see, I can rub this out. I've just done it on the front because then I need to come down from that pencil mark by one and one eighth of an inch. So I do a little cross there. Okay, again, it's hard for you to see, but then from that marker, you need to come down one and one eighth of an inch, which is about there. And then you need to come across in a nice straight line to this piece on the outside. Okay, so now we're going to cut that out. So very nice and neat, just along, and then come down like so. Okay, I'm not used to having someone looking over my shoulder. Literally, Mum is looking over my shoulder. <laughs> okay, so now fingers crossed. There we go. So you pop that in place, and you get a nice even border. Okay. So, quickly stick that down, like so. Do you like the tape runner? Yeah, I do like them, but like I've said before, I find I go through them really quickly. I think I'm maybe too heavy handed on them, and I think they can end up costing you lots of money. I think because I'm in China, I get that roll that I use, that scotch yeah. roll, I get it so cheap. So you just want to lie this down now, making sure that you get a nice even border. You have to kind of move it around a little bit because you're looking at, you've got, obviously making sure this is fine, this is fine, the bottom. Mm. So you have to play around a bit. This bit here is going to be covered by a lot of flowers. So I would say your main kind of focus is making sure that this bottom and along the top here, because that's what's really going to be seen. Okay, so there you can see that's all down now. And then this lovely piece that's been stamped by mum is going to go here. So we just need to put some tape just along the bottom, like so, okay. And then you just want to sit it, so again, so it's in the middle of this top line here. And bring it down so it's kind of lining up with the bottom bit of the DSP here. So I think that's about right. Yeah. How's that look, Mum? That looks good to me. Okay. There we go, so that's that piece. So now if I rock this, it's just always going off to the left. So this is why now you need to balance it out with the flowers that you're going to put down here. So, Mum, what have you done? So we've, we've done. got these ones here. Two, two, and we've got these a few ones. little tiny ones there. Okay, I think okay, we're going to need, because um, that, 
So I'm just looking, mirroring this. So we're gonna have the orange one up there. I'm gonna do this purple one. This was one of the rosettes which actually comes matching with the Nature's Grace pack. Um, but I'm just gonna do all flowers on this one. Okay, um, you need some more flowers, yeah? Yeah, um, can you do me that oh, just put the lid on pointy there. one? Where's the pointy one gone? Remember, there's that green, the green oh, yeah, dye? Yeah, I've just moved them over the, yeah, can you over do the that, table. Can you do that in yellow for me? Two, yeah. of the, two of those in yellow. Two of those yeah. in yellow, okay. Thank you. Okay, so that's that piece there, and then I should have a tiny bit of acetate. Here we go, I'm trying to find it. Thank you. So I've got a tiny piece of acetate here, and this measures at uh, two and three eighths of an inch by half an inch. It's just a very, very small piece there, and that's what I've got this one at the back kind of on. Now, if you haven't got any acetate, just use some of the purple card here, it'll still look fine. Um, I just liked it, you know, kind of looking like it was floating. Um, and then I've got um, just a piece of foam that mum's got here and she's got loads of these and they're great, they're really heavy. Where did you get these from? Can you remember? I got them online somewhere but again I never take any notice. I just put in. <laughs> I will try and find these or if anybody else has got these because they are really heavy and they're really good. They for... were in a set as well. Though. Yeah, no, I've seen them. Yeah, yeah there's, I think there's about maybe three or four. Yeah. So um, I will have a look for you and I will um, try and share links to them but basically on this foam backing, once you die cut your flowers, if you just kind of rub it around with the ball there on the end, it just brings them to life a little bit. And I've done lots of tutorials with flowers and um, distressing them and stuff like that. So I will share some of those links at the end of this video as well. Um, but again, there you can just see how quickly that all works and kind of just like I said, brings them all to life. So whilst mum's doing those other ones, I'll bring in, she, so she's done these little ones here as well for me. So again, even if they're tiny, I mean the tiny ones take seconds. So there's that one and then um, maybe, yeah, we'll do, that's, they, these are dinky, dinky ones. Um, so that's those ones there. Thank you mum. And then she's just done these other ones here. Like so. Okay, so now you just need to put them all together. So the flowers are really easy. Um, let me just move all this out of the way. Put that all over there. <clears throat> um, okay, so first of all, I'm going to do the one that's floating, which is going to be this one here. So just using some of the. Um, Actually, I just use this tape here because it's quite a big area. So I'm just going to put a little bit of tape in the middle. You don't need a lot. These are such so lightweight. You just stick it in the middle so it's kind of overlapping, like so. And then I've raided Mum's embellishment drawer. So I'm going to take one of the big, kind of creamy, pearly ones there, like so. Put another bit of tape on the back here. Thanks, Mum. Mm -hmm. And then just stick that to the top. Turn the acetate over here, actually. Just stick it on the back there to the top of that acetate like so, okay. And then on the bottom, on the back of that acetate as well, just put a bit more tape. And then I'm sitting it in this stepped bit, so this kind of valley, and just popping it in on an angle, like so, okay. Now if you wanna do lots more on acetate, you can, but what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna go any further past this, this eight inch um, piece here, your whole width, because it won't fit in your envelope. So if you can see with mine here, I've got that one right up to the edge. If you're going to do any more, make sure they kind of come around this way. They can kind of fill behind this area here, but don't go off over that way because you just won't be able to fit them in your envelope. So that's that one there. Then um, again, just stick this one down and pop that one down there. So they have all been cut out. Thank you, Mum. Um, so now we can just start putting them where we want. So I'm going to have. Uh, that one and then that one so again don't need much on these they're so light but like I said make sure even these bits here don't go past this this most outer point because it just will not fit in your envelope and then put some on the back of that one and that's going to cover this kind of join here so see what I mean so if you are slightly out with your um, <coughs> border at all don't worry because it's easily doctored and that's why I like things like this we like hiding things with we embellishments. Yeah. That's a good one for mum. So if I ever see like a rogue embellishment on any of my mum's projects, I usually say to her, was there a little mistake there? And she goes, yeah, yeah. cover it with an embellishment. Always works. <laughs> um, what's your favorite thing you like to make mum? Oh, boxes, bags, gift yeah. boxes and bags. And who, who's your favorite um, paper crafter? <laughs> 
Who's your favourite? Then be careful. Um, There's a right answer. I, th I think it's um, mixed up craft. Oh, good answer. Thank you. So <laughs> um, some of you may have read things that I've wrote on my blog posts and stuff. And Mum is my inspiration. Mum got me started on all of this. Although I've always been crafting. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah. Mum encouraged yeah. me to share it with you lot. So, um, yeah. Um, I think we might need another little orange one. Maybe do that one, yeah, in orange in for orange, me. Or yellow. Okay. It's yellow, it's not orange, actually, yeah. is it? In fact, yes, yeah, so we're going to have one more extra on here because we're going to do a yellow. I think it needs a yellow one down there, not this purple one. I might put the purple. Um, I'll put the purple there. We can always have an extra one. It's not going to hurt. I think it's in. Oh, no, it's here. I've got it. <laughs> I saw it drop out. I'm going to add one more. I need two, please. You need two. Yeah, one more just for the okay, top. Okay, no problem. Um, a little bit in there and just stick that one on top thank you and just again and you can just stress these with inks as well you can add obviously leaves depending on what color paper you've got so you know this is just as always just a nice um, just idea so pop that one down here and then grab uh, a little embellishment there in the middle like so Okay, so that's all that there. And then I've got to do the bow and a few more embellishments. So while I'm doing the bow, Mum, can you put a few more little sequins, just oh, like definitely. I've done on this one? Yeah. If you can just decorate the middle of that. So mm -hmm. while Mum's doing that, I'm going to cut off. Mum's got a big ribbon wall like I have, so I'm just going to trim off some ribbon. And then, Mum, you should be proud of me now. I think I've mastered bow making. Have you? Let's have a look. She, Mum always tells me off when she watches my tutorials, yeah. or if I show her. I'm going to do this That's one right. well live. Done. Perfect. I have brought a little ribbon machine, a tiny little one, just this little plastic device, just to help me out if I do. Sometimes I'm alright, but I think I've got this down better than I used to anyway. That's it. Yeah? Yeah. You need to, so you need to come that side a little bit. That's it. Yeah. You happy? Is that yeah. your yeah. standard there? Just about. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Okay, so I'm just going to trim off the edges like so, and then with a little foam. I find the ribbon um, sticks really well with the foam squares, so I'll just cut it down. I'm just going to stick a bit on the back there, take off the backing, and then when Mum's done with the sequins, I can stick that on top there. So this one then I've just got on a little angle just to the left because then it kind of, again, balances out all what you've got going on on this right-hand side. Um, and then I think the sequins, yeah, I think that's fine. I think yeah. the sequins just bring it, just bring a little mm -hmm. bit more shine. We can add a bit more after, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, but there you have it. So now that will rock. It's nice and even. So like I said, keep playing around with it. Rock it every now and then. Make sure you're not then going too heavy on the right-hand side to the left. But you can see now when it stops rocking, it stays centred, which is what we want. So there you have it, two rocker Mother's Day cards. Um, as I mentioned, the envelope, you just need to use the biggest, um, the last, sorry, um, scoring, um, what's the word, measurement on the scoreboard. Um, and I do have a envelope making tutorial, which I will share as well. So if any of you do want to look at that, you can do. But I hope you liked the first of this uh, Mother's Day series, 2018. Thanks for joining me, Mum. That's all right. I enjoyed every minute of it. <laughs> you can now treat me to lunch. Yes, we're going to go out for lunch now. <laughs> um, tune in every day this week. There will, do, there will be a different Mother's Day themed project. But as always, they can be used for any occasion. So I hope you liked today's tutorial. Please give us a thumbs up if you did. Um, love for my mum and um, <laughs> and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.